How's it going guys? We are going to start looking at after the agricultural revolution, which we talked about the last time, you know, what happened with the world, what started to occur. So today we're going to look at centers of new ideas. What started to crop up around the world? You know, what, what was going on? Not remember now, not everyone became farmers. There were still groups of people who were hunters and gatherers and still were nomadic and followed food sources from place to place. So we are going to use pages 36 and 37 of your online textbook. And this one's pretty short and sweet because we'll get more into detail on each one of these. So cultural hearths, vocabulary word, there she is. And one thing, if you want to make the page bigger, guys, just click on the double arrows and it makes the, the print a little bit bigger. So you have to sit there and squint. Little, little hint there. And then name and describe. Now there's the key, and describe the first four cultural hearths. So what happened is there were four areas of the world that popped up that became like the first villages or the first real areas where culture started developing. So if you look over here, there are four of them. Okay, so we have Mesoamerica, Oaxaca. Okay, and there's the description underneath. North Africa, Fayum. There's a description. Southwest Asian, Chattahoyuk. And China, Banpo. So what you need to do, put the four areas and then write the description. So one, two, three, four. Pretty straightforward. Then we'll get into more detail with each. So like our first one after this one will be Chattahoyuk. We'll talk more about what the village was like and everything, and we'll move on to each, and then we'll cover all four. So once again, vocabulary word, yellow word, and we needed to name and describe the first four cultural hearths. One, two, three, four, the name and the description. Okay, as always, if you need help, let me know. I'll take care of it. We'll see you guys later.